what do children need in order to become readers and writers? Uh, they need plenty of opportunities to experience literacy. They need social dimensions that build uh, from oral language. And children also need plenty of opportunities to engage with text. They also need explicit instructions on how different kind of texts are structured and so that children not only are uh, exposed to stories, but they're also exposed to different types of uh, text. Uh, children also need an access to a wide range of reading materials uh, across different genres if they are meant, we want them to produce different types of writings. Uh, yes, we do all agree sitting here that uh, in order for children to, that the slides before was just my own opinion, but I believe that uh, we all agree that children need to learn to read, to decode in any language that they are learning in. And I also think they, uh, we all agree that uh, comprehension strategies need to be taught explicitly. And I also think we all agree that explicit uh, systematic uh, teaching of phonics and vocabulary children need. And, but I think uh, most of the time how we define is how to do this. And so those are part of the things that we, are, we disagree on is the idea that learning to read involves involve socialization into literate practices. Uh, we disagree on how to do that. Uh, that conceptualization of literacy is reading. Um, so we often disagree on how to think about that. That teaching of literacy is a universal and automatic skill. And that decoding is a starting point for children who have not had experiences to read around, uh, read, for read aloud, for enjoyment and exploration of print. So uh, it's like for children who are growing up with never having had books, should we be starting, therefore, with decoding skills? And for me personally, I don't know which child uh, falls in love with reading through uh, that kind of reading. So if we want children to love books and to love reading, should we be that be the starting point? Oh, that's not where I want to be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for me, free body and look, um, my experiences in working with children in schools as well as in reading clubs and has taught me a lot about how children could um, explore text. And as well for me, Cambon, as well as um, I had Cambon, uh, and I'm sure most of you know Cambon talks about um, conditions for learning. And for me, and uh, yes, conditions for learning. So in, in this case here, uh, Brian Cambon as well as Goodman, yes, I knew I had that. You see, we were asked to memorize things. <laughs> so Brian Cambon for me and, and Kenneth Goodman, uh, who have st I've studied uh, quite extensively in, for a long time, uh, they talk about how language learning outside school is very easy for children, but how it is that language learning inside the classroom is often I I difficult for children. And of course, in this particular text, uh, Brian Campbell talks about how that therefore relates to literacy learning. And well, the message to president, uh, the president, and I'm sure some of you here are familiar with the Bualit and one of the affiliate and some of the questions that we would like uh, the president to, to, to answer when it relates to literacy, you can find in those um, um, links.